Okay, question number six. Cameron saw the four fractions below, one-fourth, seven-twelfths, six-eighths, and four-sixths. Which fraction is the greatest? There's different things that we can do to solve this. There's different strategies. We could draw pictures of each of them. However, if you're going to draw pictures, you must make sure that you have all of your holes the same size. So if you do want to draw pictures, I would start by making one big box and then making your four fractions in that box. It's not the, it's not the method I prefer because it's kind of hard to draw 12. So I don't really like that method. But if you wanted to, you could use it. Divide into fourths. You got to make sure everyone's equal. But I'm going to switch that and I'm going to do something else. I could also do what we've been learning in computation. I could change them all into decimals by using it off my back or any other strategy. But I think that's going to take a lot of work. The last strategy I can think of is to make fraction family. So I'm going to make a fraction family with all of the fractions and find which one has the highest denominator. I'm sorry, highest numerator. So let me start with one fourth. One fourth, and I'm going to just roll out. Tap and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll stop that far. Put my fraction line, my equal sign, and roll my denominators. Tap the four and go. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. Okay? Let's see if I can find similar denominators in the next fraction, 7, 12. I'm going to roll out three times here, 7, 14, 21. Fraction line and my equal sign, roll my 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. 24 plus 12 more is 36. I think I'm going to stop here. I didn't even get that high of a number, so let me keep going. I'm going to do 6, 8. I'm going to tap my 6 and roll. I'll roll these out a few times. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Roll my 8. 8, 16, and 24. Uh-huh. 32, 40. Okay, looks like I'm really doing okay with those denominators. Everyone's equal in the same family. All right, now I have four six. I'm going to just erase this space right here and put my four six on the top. I'm going to roll out four eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Fraction line. Equal sign, everybody's equal in the family. Tap the six and roll. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. All right. Now I'm going to look to see which is my least common denominator. So I see six here in the top. I see six. Um, but I don't see six here in the one-fourth family. So I can't use 6 as the common denominator. Let me move to the next one. I see 12. So here's 12, 8, 12. And I see 12 here in the fourth. Okay, so that's good. Let me check 12 on the next one. Here's 12. That's good. Let me go to the bottom. 6, 8. But I don't have 12 in that family. So I'm going to go back up top and try again. I'm looking for the common denominator. I have 18. So I have 18, but I don't have 18 in the fourth family, so 18 is out. I try 24 now. 24. 24. Uh, I have a 24 here. Okay. I have a 24 in the 7 12th family. I have a 24 in the 6 8th family. So it looks like these 24 are what I'm going to use 
to compare all of my fractions. So now I just need to look at the numerators and look at which is the highest numerator. I have 16, 6, 14, and 18. So 18 is the highest numerator. So 18 24 means that 6 8 is the largest fraction. So my letter answer choice is B. Okay, question number seven. Jack counted the number, numbers of cardinals and sparrows he saw in his yard during one week. His results are displayed on the bar graph below. The title is Birds in Jack's Yard. I'm going to scroll down and see what's happening here. It's telling me the number of birds. I notice the scale is counting by two. There's a line missing here. Let me just put that in. Um, there's the type of bird, the cardinal and the sparrow. The question wants to know, what fraction of the birds were sparrows? Okay, so if they're asking about the fraction of the birds, I need to know how many birds there are in total, right? So first, let me find how many sparrows there were and then how many cardinals there were. Because to get the total birds, I would need to add the numbers of cardinals and the number of sparrows. So I'm going to look at my graph and go up on the cardinal graph and it stops here at 14. So there were 14 cardinals. Then let me look at the sparrow bar. I'm going to go up. It stops at the 10, so this is a 10. So together, I need to add this. There were 14 plus 10, so there are 24 total birds. But the question is looking for a fraction, and it's talking about the sparrow. So the sparrows, there were 10 of them. There were 10 out of 24. So let me see if 10 24 is a choice. It might not be because I think I can reduce that number, but I actually see 10 24 as choice B. So I don't have to reduce. My answer is already there. Choice B, 10 24 of the birds were sparrows. Okay, question number eight. Which drawing of a circle is four-fifths shaded? Okay, so I'm looking at the pictures and I notice none of them have fifths. Let me count and see what the fraction of each of them is. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten parts. So then my denominator is ten. Let me see how many are shaded in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tenths. Okay, I can reduce that because it has to be reduced because it says fifth. So let me reduce and see if that gives me four fifths. Eight tenths. I can reduce them both, the numerator and the denominator, by two. Eight divided by two. Count by two, don't pass up eight. Two, four, six, eight. Stop. Finger say four. Okay. Denominator, ten divided by two. Count by two. Don't pass up ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Stop. Finger say five. So eight tenths is equal to four fifths, and that is what the question asked. They said four fifths. So my answer choice looks like it is going to be choice A. I don't need to spend any more time looking at the rest of these choices. Even if they look slightly different, I've already solved the problem. Be sure not to get tricked with choice B. Because if you look at choice B, you see 1, 2, 3, 4 shaded. 
and then you see one, two, three, four, five unshaded. That is not a fraction because the denominator should represent the total. And this does not have five total parts. So this is really not four fifths. It is actually four ninths because there's five plus four more gives me four ninths. But the question is looking for four fifths. Okay, question number nine. Subtract nine sixteenths minus one fourth. Well, I notice that the, de the denominators do not speak the same language. So to make them speak the same language, I'm going to make a fraction family. So I'm going to start with nine sixteenths, and then I have one fourth. Since the sixteen is larger, I'm going to start by rolling the fourth and see if I get sixteen. So four. For 8, 12, 16. Uh-huh. I do get 16, so I'm just going to roll my numerators. Tap the 1 and go. 1, 2, 3, 4. Everybody's equal in the family. So now I, I'm going to subtract 9 16 minus 4 16. I can set up the problem again on the side so that I don't make any mistakes. Now I have two fractions that both speak the same language, 16-ish. And so the denominators stay the same. The numerator follows the rule, which is subtraction. 9 subtract 4 gives me, press the number 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Fingers say 5. So I get 5 16 as my final answer. And I do see 5 16 as choice C. Okay, question number 10. Carlos earns $11 each week taking care of pets. Which of the following is the best estimate of how much money he will earn in 48 weeks taking care of pets? So how much money will he earn in 48 weeks taking care of pets. I do notice the word estimate. So that's telling me I'm going to need to round first, then solve. It tells me he gets $11 each week, and it's asking about 48 weeks. So I'm going to estimate those two numbers so that I can make it easy. Estimation goes to easy. So 11, I'm going to round to the last place value, 11 is going to estimate to ten dollars. Forty-eight weeks is going to round to fifty weeks. And so if he gets ten dollars each week for fifty weeks, that means I'm going to multiply fifty times ten. Much easier problem now. I'm going to scratch one, two, Max 1, 2, and multiply 5 times 1, 500, and I believe that is choice letter C.